In this classroom, we have whiteboards along the walls as well as tables that can be moved around for students to use. First, you will need to locate the control panel on your podium. On the screen, there'll be a button that says press to begin. Once you press this button, the projector screen will come down and turn on. On your control panel, you will see a list of sources on the left side of the screen. These sources are your options for what is going to be shown on your podium monitor and the projector screen. Your options are Ninernet PC, Laptop HDMI, Laptop VGA, and Document Camera. Ninernet PC is the computer on the podium. If you click this button, the projector will show what is on this PC. Laptop HDMI is if you have a secondary laptop that has an HDMI port. You can plug the HDMI cord located on the podium into the laptop. Laptop VGA is if you have a secondary laptop that has a VGA port. The VGA cord can also be found on the podium. Once the cord is plugged into the laptop, click the designated button. This will display what is on your laptop to the projector screen. Last on the list is the document camera. Once you click this button, it will show you a list of options in the middle of the screen. These control the document camera. The first listed is the power button. This will turn the document camera on and off. You can also use this panel to zoom the camera in or out, or freeze the image. There are also buttons on the document camera itself to control these features. To return to the main menu and no longer show the document camera screen, you can press the button of the source you want to use. On the bottom right of the screen, there is a button labeled System Tools. When you press this, options for the projector will be displayed. You can turn the screen on and off, mute the video to the screen, or move it up and down however you see fit.